If I say happen to go in here and start with the, the revives arcana and then just stand still and leave up a bunch. Is that gonna do the trick? Clover, do I want the evolution for us? Well, maybe, you never know. Let's go with Spumarola. Empty Tome. Well, I guess Empty Tome is good, so let's go with that. Oh, I should have probably taken a Tract Orb. Whoops. So that's gonna give me an armor, right? Well, Clover. You don't want the evolution for us, really. I probably don't. Okay, let's not go. Let's not take it. Attract or but take that. Spinach, do you want spinach? Nah, I do want the, the cross. Let's go, let's stay with the basic cross. And for the second one, what do you want for the second one? For the second arcana. Attract or let's go for the attract orb. Now, apparently I am no, I'm doing a no movement thing. Is that a good possible? It's probably possible. So if I have a bunch of I have a bunch of armor and a bunch of extra help, so I do have the hollow heart, right? I have to take it. So for the second arcana, I'll have to take... I'm going to try to not move, but... Couple of exceptions. I'm going to allow myself to get arcanas. That's the important bit. Until then, armor is going to be good, right? Oh yeah, that's revive number whatever. So the next one is going to be Tiragiso. The next item has to be Tiragisa because I want more revives. Let's go for a bunch of rerolls. Oh, hold on. I shouldn't waste rerolls. If I want a specific arcana, I shouldn't waste rerolls. So for the second one is going to be Divine Bloodline, and for the last one is going to be a Silent on Sanctuary. I think that's how we're gonna roll. I probably need my magnet increase though. Right. I mean I'm getting levels for once. And if I stop getting levels, I, I guess, I guess that's it for the challenge. <laughs> that's it for not moving. Oh, a tractor! Would you look at that? That's uh, like an entire level. Clover, don't want that. Uh, let's upgrade the cross. It's not doing a lot of damage, but I mean, it's going to be firing off so quickly in the end that it's not really going to matter. And more attractor, very good. And that was an entire level. Okay, more armor, so to revive left. I do have to hit level 33, I think. Oh, uh, well, maybe it's gonna happen that I don't actually have to move to pick up anything. Huh. Well, if that's gonna be the case, I will be very satisfied. I'm very satisfied. Now, what's going to be the last item? The last item has to be Tiragiso and then something else. Well, what is it going to be? Is it going to be spinach? Probably. Now, what are the chances I actually get to get the... Oh, I don't have the evolution, right. What are the chances I get to get the Arcana? This way. I already got one chest. In my... In my one challenge, and uh, no movement challenge, but that I did, that I actually won, I never got a single chest, and, that, and I was very upset. There were like six or seven of them all around me, and uh, I mean, you see them, but you can't take them, and it's upsetting. And I have one revive, right? Yeah, see, that's the second chest I got this, this run. This is not normal. I need to upgrade my armor, I need to upgrade my region if I want to actually survive this. One more revive, right? Right. And uh, I just noticed I'm not actually getting experience. Alright. Uh, how, how am I supposed to deal with that? My tractor is not maxed out. Well, um, do, do I just want to say no to the no movement challenge? Do I get to pick up the levels or do I just uh, stay as is? 
Like, it's not like I'm doing a lot of damage to all these enemies. And they will eventually get to me. And I'm not getting max health whenever I get hit because I don't have the one or kind of that does that. So what's the plan really? Well, the plan is to die for now. Well, do I move? Do I not move? I think I'm going to just die here. Yeah, let's move and pick up experience. Yeah, I know it's a no movement challenge. But experience, man, this experience is everywhere. It's so good. Oh, Chiragisu, I got it. I got it, I got it. Chiragisu. And Tractor. Oh, I got everything. I got the one red gem that was there, out there somewhere. I mean, is it really a no movement challenge? Holy cow. I mean, let's just leave it at random. Got like 30 levels in one place. So now I can get even more armor. Because um, am I going to lose these revives? Well, I don't need that particular chest, right? Let's continue not moving. I'll probably have to move... Uh, or do I really have to move? I, ha I did say I wanted, I wanted to move the Arcana, so well, let's just stay as is. Now, do I want to move the third Arcana? Yes. But I mean, it was possible to actually get there because... I did get two crates, and I'm very much surprised by that. Now, of course, the, the one problem for me was that I didn't get the Attract Orb high enough, fast enough, so I wasn't getting experience. Like, I need this guy to die directly on top of me. If that can happen, if this actually happens, I can say that, ooh, I actually got the... No, I didn't die on top of me. That's unfortunate. Now, is the Arcana Band going to die on top of me? That's a good question. I really want it to happen. And on the bright side, I'm actually gaining health from getting hit. So, there's that. And I do have three revives. Where did I come from? I'm supposed to have two revives. Okay, the Arcana Band did not, did not die directly on top of me. So, yeah, I'm going to take it. So, I want... Uh, I want... Sanatom Sanctuary? Nah. Did I miss Divine Bloodline? I might have. Nope, there it is. Well, that was a lot of levels. Yeah, let's get back to not moving. Now, the main question is going to be whether the second bat dies directly on double lane. So, now that I do have a damage and touch for myself, that's actually possible. Now, the obvious problems with the not moving and the ranged weapons. Yeah, most things die away from you, so you don't get to get any levels. And if you don't get to get any levels, you don't get to survive. Ooh, there's a bat. Is the bat going to die on top of me? I sure hope so. Okay. Not close enough. Well, on the bright side, enemies are not even reaching me, so that's good. Now, is this bat going to die on top of me? Come on. No. Is the bad deck going to die on top of me? Yeah, it doesn't seem to be happening. Now let's wait for the 21 minute bat. That's going to be interesting. Okay, there's another boss. A chance that it's actually going to get to me one day. And also, I am actually full health. I mean, I, I did die quite a few times. Okay, this one did not reach me. Now, if I perhaps had the Bible, the boss would have made it through the Bible and onto me and died from on hit, from touch damage. It could have been it. That could be it. Is this guy going to die on top of me? Oh, he's doing a lot of damage, all right. I mean, uh, I have three revives. I don't really care about that guy's damage. Revive. Now, he is going to die to... Touch, right? Oh, is that it? So, you saw the crate, right? If I was doing a normal no movement challenge, the guy would have given me my evolution for my weapon. That's important. I mean, yes, I, I technically cheated by going and picking up all the things, but if I didn't, that would have given me the evolution and the. Arcana bat, oh, well, um, give me Arcana. 
Hey, look at that, Zanaton Sanctuary down there. Yeah, the attack speed is going to be so massive that nothing is ever going to make too many. But yeah, this is interesting. So now if I were to play it normally... Uh, well, I guess normal levels from this point. That's unfortunate, right? That is a very unfortunate. Now, I do have only one revive left, and there is yet another boss that's actually pretty beefy, so... Will I make it or will I not make it? Oh, boss, boss, hello. I actually have... I didn't take damage there. Almost. Like, I took like 100 health of damage. 15 armor is a lot of armor. Oh, wow. I mean, of course, there's no way I'm going to survive the Reaper with this, but uh, you never know. That was a lot of defense. Yeah, due to the Silent Hill Sanctuary, nothing is actually making towards me. Well, maybe maybe after this point, something is going to hit me, but... I think I was full health most of this run. I was from the very deliberate revive shenanigans. And level 60. I mean, I don't get to survive this guy, but I do surely enough... Uh, I do enough damage. I do a lot of damage. I mean, not enough to kill the thing, but still, a lot. Yeah, I have 15,000 DPS. 